Hi guys. Hello everyone. <clears throat> no, it hasn't started yet. I know. Maybe this could help. Um, uh, hi guys. Um, um, so, I, I, I think most of us are here. I see the, the number 14. Oh, you, you can see it too. It's, um, uh, on the right bottom corner. <laughs> um, as you already know, Mr. Perry has tested positive, um, for COVID. So, your new math teacher. As you know, the the sitting exams uh, are cancelled, but um, <laughs> you you don't have to worry. We will be having an online assessment. So, does that mean you'll decide our grades? I th I think so. Uh, well, to um, to be honest, uh, uh, nobody really knows what is happening. Um, uh, but don't worry, I'll, I'll I'll keep you updated. Uh, guys, can 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 you um turn on your your camera? I feel like I'm I'm, I'm talking to to a wall. Guys. Yes, we hear you. You just need to change your view mode to see us. Oh yeah, of course. View mode. <laughs> hey, uh, how can I change the view mode? Top right button. How was it? Was a a good start. Yeah. This is a. not how I wanted to teach. Hi. You've got something on your jumper? I was painting this morning. Painted? Yeah, my sister won't leave me alone with her Bob Ross obsession. I can't get a moment for myself. So you're just gonna skip classes now you've got an unconditional offer? I couldn't be in an online class without someone shouting in the background. The house is complete chaos. I was the new teacher. He acts like a 70 year old that's only used the computer to subscribe to a newspaper. <laughs> Jane, I'm worried. It's not as if maths is my favourite subject. I can't really understand why anyone would like it. No offence, none taken. You know, with all this free time. Free time? I have no free time. I have to learn everything on my own. It's okay for you. You're having a staycation. Staycation? Are you kidding? Did you even listen when I said that you've been painting? Yeah. It must be hard for you. I have to go. Good luck with studying. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm sorry I was late. I had some uh, technical issues. <laughs> uh, how did you guys do with the last occasion I gave you? Um, I got x equals 11 for my answer. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, <clears throat> let me 
uh, let me show you how you um, how you can solve this equation really really easy so uh here uh, yeah. sir we can't okay. see the whiteboard okay. can you, can you, can you, yeah. Sir. yeah you can of course you can see it so let me show you how how you you'll get there so we, uh, we we have log you should never forget the seven like ever and then that with x plus one right so we've got that We've got that, that, up in here. So, we've got 11. That's, that's fantastic, isn't it? 11. So, it's that simple. As simple as its core. Sorry, we couldn't hear what you were saying. But I understand. You used the cross product and then cross multiplied. The x is not minus 8, but because when you put it in the original equation, the logarithm's negative. Y yeah. Exactly. Uh, <clears throat> okay, uh, let's move to the exponential equations. Are we going to look at exponential functions soon? I thought I heard you start in a class two minutes ago. Uh I gave them an assessment to complete. Can you help me with that? Yeah, yeah, gladly. To set it on fire. I don't have much time. Thanks. I didn't understand anything from Harold's lesson. Let's start with example B. level stuff man can you draw something and put it in the back <sighs> like, like numbers there are not many things that I can't do Harry oh thank you but I can't help you this time I have to grade the assessment but Okay, well, I think I'm starting to understand. See ya for next class? Yeah. Sounds good. See ya! Sorry, wrong number. Oh, okay, sorry. Please leave your message after the tone. Hi, Dad. I was wondering what time you finished work tonight. I was hoping to talk to you. I'll stay up and wait for you. Alright, call me back when you get this.
Jesus, are you trying to kill me? No, I won't kill you. <sighs> I need your help. Well, I already said. Busy. I'm... I know. However, I've got a proposal for you. You see, here I have written and explained the off call algorithm of calculating the final grades. It will be yours if you help me out. Nah, I can Google it. <laughs> I'll wash your cups until the end of the year. And make you coffee. Hello everyone. Is everyone ready for the assessment next week? <laughs> it's not mandatory, but it will help me a lot. I'm sure you're looking forward to getting your results. Now, is there anyone who wants to work in a hospital or um, research something? Yeah, yeah, I want to be a researcher. Perfect, <laughs> perfect. Let's see how exponential functions can help us during the spread of COVID. See, if you meet me and say one of us has the virus, then each of us would spread it to two others. Then in just three steps, the number would grow eight times. If, why? is the number of cases and X is the number of times someone spread it to two others, then we can build this graph. <laughs> of course, real life is not as predictable as maths, but it's crucial to know how quickly the growth is if we weren't sensible enough. And police wouldn't control the mixing of households. Now, you might have heard the words exponential growth in news. I'm assuming it went well. They were actually talking to me. I heard their voices. Great. Black with no sugar. Please. Harold speaking. given up on maths already. Not quite. Harold's class was amazing. He even said he tutored me after classes. Oh. What's wrong? So, was I a bad teacher or something? What? No, it's just, I don't want to burden you with my study problems. Burden? Anna, believe it or not, I like to help you and spend time with you. I know, but... I understand if you want to spend some time with your family. Are you kidding me? I need time away from my family. I hate it there. I'm so sorry, Jane. I, I didn't... You should turn the speaker on. So can we retake the assessment? No. Um, your, your results will help me predict your grades better. Um, your final results will be announced by Ofqual, which uh, uses uh, an algorithm based on school's result history and uh, other factors. So if the previous student's results were low, I'll get marked down? And what if... I did bad on my mock exams, but now I understand maths much better. I'll still get marked down. 
I will try my best and assess you on your current performance. But there's really nothing I can do about Ofqual. And yes, you can get marked down. But that is so unfair. If I knew this, I would have taken my mock exams more seriously. I know. Just try your best at this assessment. Okay? Good luck, guys. I went in the bath for an hour just to get away from everyone. <laughs> but enough about me. How was the assessment? No, go on. I don't care about results anymore. Sorry, what? An apprenticeship? For the NHS? I think that's amazing. I know. <laughs> I have some news for you too. I'm going to study primary education. What? But what about your unconditional offer? I'm taking a gap year and reapplying next year. You're crazy! <laughs> Congratulations! Oh, I could just give you a hug. Same. <laughs> Here, catch this. Ew! <laughs> Don't throw your germs on me. <laughs> well, this is awkward. Anyway. Don't forget this. Maybe you should keep it. Are you not going back after summer? Well, Mr. Barry is retiring, so it seems like um, you're stuck with me. <laughs> Give me this. 